action. Hi friends, welcome to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla and I am glad you are here. This video is another curving, Curvy Sewing Collective same pattern, different bodies video. Just like the last one that I did with the Dibby Club May Poncho. The pattern featured in this video is the Fig and Needle Crestwood skirt, which I have right here. And you will see pictures of me in it at the end of the video. I'm just wearing my... <laughs> I'm just wearing my boots and tights. I really hope that Troy has framed this properly so that you can't see that I don't have any pants on <laughs> because I was wearing this skirt and I needed to take it off in order to show you the skirt. So I'm gonna start by talking to you about this fabric. This is a Robert Kaufman, Kansas, Kansas, canvas. And um, I bought it when we had the fabric store and, and I loved it and I never used any and now I have um, made this and I plan to use the rest of the bolt as well because I love this fabric and I have pretty much been um, trying to find things that match this skirt as kind of a jumping off point for my fall module. You know how you try to stick in colors. And so I love this. It's a dream to work with. Um, it's loosely woven. So it can fray, but it's not going to fall apart in the time that you're making a skirt, especially a skirt with simple lines like this. Um, so I was a pattern tester for Fig and Needle for the Crestwood skirt. So they provided the pattern for me for free. Um, and I made it up. You can see it has a curved waistband, which is lovely. It fits beautifully. Um, it was really easy to sew up. It has these delightful pockets that go way down. They go down to here. And um, the construction of it is really cool. There's a little band right here. And I've seen some where someone put a piece of piping in here. One of the views, um, has a V right here. I didn't do that. I was supposed to do that on this one, but I was just a little nervous about it since I've never done that before. And also the first time I work with a pattern, I do the most basic version of it that I can because I don't know if I'm going to like it. And I'm not going to put a lot of extra time into a bunch of fiddly bits. Um, not that I feel like this looked like it was super hard to do. The instructions were very clear. Um, and so, um, there's that, those pockets. One of the versions also has, um, I think, a scalloped pocket here and a beautifully scalloped hem, which is super fun. Now, there is a mistake on here. I don't know that any of you would be able to see it, but if you look at the bottom there, let me hold it up like this. There's a couple of extra pieces of fabric right at the hem. Well, I lengthened the skirt and there's several panels in here. Um, the front, let's see, there's two front panels. There's four front panels and then two back panels. And so I neglected to lengthen this front panel, this front panel right here. And so it was much shorter. So I literally just added a panel in there and you cannot see it with this pattern. And even if you did, you would not think that there was anything wrong. I really am a fan of figuring out how to make things work when they go wrong. I'm not one to throw beautiful fabric in the trash and, you know, get rid of a garment that could be very wearable just because I made a mistake, as you know, because I make mistakes on pretty much everything I make. But um, I really love this skirt. I would definitely make it again. I would like to make it a little bit tighter, but I have a trust problem with invisible zippers. One has never burst on me, never. But they're so hinky and grumpy when you're zipping them up and down that I'm just certain 
that one is going to burst on me. So maybe if I made another one, you know, that I would want tighter than this, like jean skirt tight, I might put in a lapped zipper or um, an exposed zipper would be cool. Um, let me know in the comments below whether you really trust invisible zippers to hold up for you, whether you put them in garments that you are going to want to be pretty tight. I feel like maybe a tight dress zipper that's up here wouldn't be a problem so much, but a skirt zipper where you sit down and everything goes, that I worry about. So let me know what you think. Okay. So on the Curvy Sewing Collective blog, you will see Michelle um, showing her version of the Crestwood. And so you'll be able to see how it looks like, what it looks like on two different gals. Um, this, these patterns, this skirt pattern comes in two different size ranges. There's a, um, the a rig original size range and a plus size range. I believe I cut maybe the size 20. I should have written that down, but I didn't. Um, probably cut the size 20 in the plus size range. And um, my measurements, my waist measurement right now is 43, I think, and my hips are 53. And, um, and I'm five foot five. The only adjustment I made to the pattern was to add length. And it looks like I added I would say an inch and a half to get it to the length that I want. And you'll see in, um, in the videos and the pictures at the end of the, this video. And I'm your average size woman height wise. And so you can get a pretty good idea of what it might look like on you. And I don't have, um, I'm evenly proportioned leg, body, all that stuff. Like I don't have super long legs and I don't have a super long or short body. So you should be able to look at me and judge pretty clearly um, where the skirt will fall on you and whether you want to lengthen it or even shorten it. Um, Instruction process was easy. Uh, it was just a tester pattern. So it wasn't, the instructions were not finished. Um, I can be a little bit of a dunderhead sometimes when I'm sewing and I do need a lot of hand holding. And so there were times when I scratched my head a little bit, but I got it all figured out. And I know that uh, when you buy the pattern, it's all gonna be finished. They didn't have all the graphics finished. And this is a very simple skirt, so they were probably assuming that most people could get it together without too much worry. And I did, and it came out perfectly. I love it. Um, I do like the way this pattern fits. It fits beautifully with no sway back adjustment or anything. It curves to my body perfectly. If I make it again and I decide I'm going to make it a size smaller, uh, I feel like it's going to fit perfectly a size smaller. And so for me, it fit really well. I didn't have any fit issues at all. So it worked well for me. My hips are 10 inches bigger than my waist and it fits me perfectly. So it's not tight on the waist, but it's a good fit. I would make this pattern again, um, and I would love to do the scalloped one. I would have loved to do the scalloped one out of this leopard print. I think that would be absolutely adorable. But what I would probably wind up doing with the scalloped one, I think that would look so beautiful in a gray, um, a heathered gray wool or denim. I think it would be gorgeous in both of those colors and would be a real wardrobe staple. Now that I'm adding more brown to my wardrobe, a chocolate brown wool would be cool. Um, the scallops are just adorable. You're going to have to go check it out. I will put the link to link to the pattern below. And if you follow Fig and Needle on Instagram, that's um, Ping and Sandra, um, then you will see some really cute versions of the skirt showing up. So you can see how it looks on a bunch of different gals.
Okay, so now we're going to get into our size rating. The size range, um, I give this a really good score in the size range. I would say a uh, four out of five. I don't remember. It could be a five out of five. For the Curvy Sewing Collective blog, if it goes up to a 56 inch hip or bust, then it gets a five. So you know what, what rating I'm using. The instructions I'm assuming are going to be a five. I was only looking at the tester pattern, so I can't really even grade that. Um, it looked to me like it was going to be really nice when it was all finished. Um, so then you can decide what kind of pattern you would put it at a bad pattern, an okay pattern, a good pattern, a great pattern, or the best pattern ever. Now, I haven't come across the best pattern ever, but I would give this a solid four. Um, as a skirt pattern, it really is great. Maybe it would be a five. It was fun to make, and it looks great, and it's timeless. It's going to look good on all figure types. You can choose with the different waistbands to do. One of them is kind of curved up, I think, and then another one is down, or you can do mine straight, the one straight across like what I did. It's, and I just think it would be super versatile. In the summer, you could make it out of like a heavyweight linen. So maybe this pattern um, could be a five. So I really enjoyed it, and maybe you can go check out Fig and Needle and see what you think about the pattern. So I thank you for joining me and I hope to see you soon. I'm afraid to stand up and turn off the video because I'm not wearing pants. So maybe Troy will come up from downstairs and help me out here. Maybe. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome.